September sees schools opening across the UK, but after an 11th hour warning of some buildings being unsafe, thousands of pupils aren't returning to their schools. What is RAC and how has it impacted schools across the UK? This is decomplicated. What is RAC? Reinforced autoclaved aerated concrete, or rack, is a lightweight alternative to standard concrete that was used mostly in flat roofing but also in floors and walls across buildings during the 1950s to 1990s. But the aerated aspect of rack means it's more susceptible to structural failure when exposed to moisture and has a vastly reduced lifespan to standard concrete of around 30 years. What's being done about RAC? The government has known since 1994 that some public sector buildings contain potentially compromised RAC and has been monitoring their conditions since 2018. New guidance was issued in 2021 and 2022 about how to manage RAC and the Department of Education asked various responsible bodies to provide information about the use of RAC in schools across the country. What we discovered over the summer, as new evidence emerged, there were a number of cases where uh, in schools, but also in non-schools and indeed outside England, uh, where RAC uh, that we thought was safe, that was not critical in its condition, actually turned out to be unsafe. There are over 22,000 schools and colleges in England and the vast majority of them are unaffected by RAC. Local authorities and multi-academy trusts are responsible for these buildings, but we have been supporting schools and colleges to ensure risks resulting from RAC are mitigated. To date, 52 schools and colleges have these mitigations in place. The majority have been able to continue to provide face-to-face -face learning without any disruption and we remain in contact with them. Although a large majority of educational facilities utilise concrete between the 50s to the 90s, the Department of Education initially identified 104 schools and colleges that would need to close their affected buildings in some capacity, just as students are set to return after the summer holidays. Why are some schools not shutting? Well, 52 schools and colleges have already taken protective measures and will not need to shut. Schools that have little rack present will have less substantial closures, with some requiring as little as a single classroom to be closed for refurbishing. The use of rack was not only confined to school buildings, however, meaning that the crisis could further deepen as other public buildings and hospitals are checked for how much rack was used in their construction. The scale of the problem is much bigger than schools. It also covers much of the building stock in the country, not all, but a proportion of it. This includes education, but also health, but also defence, justice, local government, national government, and also a lot of the private sector. 